Hello everyone, what's up, greetings, salutations, whatever kind of greeting you want. My name is Andrew, and I will be your host for today's episode of Forge Friday. And today I have a competitive 4v4 map for you guys. This map is called Eulogy, and it is created by Nooch. Anyway, this map has actually been around for a while, it's pretty old, and Nooch is a pretty talented forger. He's actually given me advice in the past on how to improve my own forging, so props to him for that. And this is a really great map in general, so this is definitely a well-deserved feature. Anyway, this map is great for numerous reasons, but the first thing I've noticed when I played in the map would be its aesthetics. It looks absolutely gorgeous and makes great use of Forge Island scenery, especially in bottom mid, which I'm walking in right now, which has that mist effect that's really nice. And the map also has very interesting geometry all throughout and uses very clean pieces, so there's not much visual noise. But more importantly than the aesthetics would be gameplay. And like I said, Eulogy is a 4v4 map. It plays great for 4v4. It's actually very action-packed. You're not going to be able to rest too much. But not to the point where spawning gets destroyed and it's overly chaotic. But just the right amount of action to keep the game exciting. But the map can also be played with 2v2. But I would really just gear more towards 4v4 because there is a rocket launcher in top mid so that ki would kind of make uh, 2v2 games a little lopsided if one team has a rocket launcher but it's not too bad so you can still give it a try if you want to play the map for a 2v2 which uh, makes it makes gameplay a lot more tactical compared to 4v4 so yeah give that a try anyway moving forward with the map I'd say it's uh, it's an atrium style map there's kind of this middle atrium which is the fastest way to traverse between the different areas of the map but it's also the most open area and then there would be the areas on the outside or the edges of the map which are all connected to the central atrium but these uh, areas are a little more room based I'd say and I noticed that the central atrium is where most of the encounters in the map take place and then you can use blue room and red room to flank your opponents if they're taking cover there are also these tunnels that stretch out from the different rooms into the central atrium more specifically bottom mid so you are given plenty of options to get into several areas of the map and this all just contributes to making it a great competitive 4v4 map and that is all my time guys see you in the next video